Okay, I have one week until my graduation and I just figured I said I was gonna paint my graduation cap and I'm not gonna let quarantine stop me from doing that. So I'm just gonna have to suck it up and try and finish painting my graduation cap with enough time. I hope it doesn't come out shit because <laughs> I have one chance to do this. I mean, worst case, I just have to repaint it for when I actually walk in my graduation. If I actually end up walking in graduating, all I know is I'm gonna be graduating on Zoom University and that's about it. I have this cardboard presentation board that I had in my closet, so I'm just gonna use this to paint on. So I open this bitch up and look at this. <laughs> A cursed image. I'm also gonna be using this Arteza paint set because bitch, there is so many colors in this. Not one, not two, but three lights. All right guys, let's get this started. So what we're gonna end up doing first is we're gonna put a base layer. So you wanna put white paint or a paint that is very opaque so that way that you can have a good first layer. You're definitely gonna have to do multiple layers, possibly two, that's about how many I did. The main goal is to make sure that you have a good solid foundation for when you start painting your graduation cap make sure that you tape down the edges of your graduation cap. I wish I would have done that first because I definitely did paint on the back of my cap unexpectedly. We are problem solvers here. Now that your cap is taped down and painted, I want you to take mind of the direction that your cap goes. So in the back you can find where it says the front and the back, so that way you can take mind of exactly how you want your design to be laid out. The back of your cap is a diamond shape and you want to make sure that the design is vertical so that way when it's on your head that it lays properly and people can see the full design and it is facing the right direction because that would be kind of embarrassing if it was upside down. I definitely recommend sketching out your idea before you start putting it on your graduation cap just because you want to make sure that you take mine because there is the nipple of the cap which you do have to take in consideration with your design because you don't want it to look kind of whack. Here's what the preliminary sketch of my graduation cap looks like. I made sure to put the center of the eye of the octopus into the center of the graduation cap so that way it gave it a little bit of dimension. As for the remaining elements of my cap, I wanted to make sure that I put things that really represented my college experience. So I put my diploma because I'm a first generation college student. I made sure to put my coffee because I love coffee. I made sure to put my vlogging camera because I did start YouTube this year. I also made sure to put my pencil and tattoo machine because I am an artist and tattoo artist. Next what you're going to want to do is swatch your colors because sometimes the color that's on the inside of the tube doesn't always match the outside and when it dries it's even more different. Please learn from my mistakes. I definitely only swatched a few colors to begin with and then I was like ooh these kind of aren't that cute. So I ended up swatching every single color that I had so that way I could pick my color palette to the best of my ability. So, so far this is what my cap is looking like. I've kind of just started to block in the colors. I'm of course going to be going in and detailing out some of these parts a little bit later. Also make sure that you paint on the parts of the cap that are showing just so that you have your design kind of continue through and it just makes more sense and it just looks cooler. I 100% always have time for this movie. Like I said earlier, make sure that you block out your cap because you want to see what colors look like next to each other. And yes, it's going to look like a mess. My cap sure as hell looks like a mess. It looks like a fourth grader just went with paint and it's crazy, but I promise there's a method to my madness. Ooh, bitch. Now's the time to detail your graduation cap. Honestly, this is the part that I was looking forward to since the beginning of the video, just because I had a vision in my head of exactly how everything's supposed to be. And now's your opportunity to just build and build and build and detail the hell out of your graduation cap. Okay, so I am still painting my grad cap and it is taking so fucking long. I genuinely didn't think that painting took this long. 
So for all my painters out there, I definitely commend you because this sucks. I still have a good portion of my hat to go. I really don't know if I'm gonna finish this on time. I graduated today. They made an error. <laughs> they made a big error in my in my slide, which was really annoying. What are you gonna do? Institutions continuing to fuck up? Surprising. Uh, this is low-key satisfying as fuck. Maybe I'm just depressed. <laughs> Ah ha ha, fuck. <laughs> Anyways, back to painting. If you're anything like me and you need to take a break, make sure that you always get a larger plastic bag so that way you can preserve your paints. See how there's a lot of paint still in there? What you're gonna do is you're gonna gently put it inside of here. Then you're gonna zip it up, so that way you can come back and you can use the paints after your break. I've been waiting to paint my graduation cap for the longest time. Like I said earlier, I'm a first generation college student and this to me is such a proud moment for both my family and I. It sucks that coronavirus kind of took away graduation for a lot of us, but on the bright side, it did give us more time to paint our graduation caps. Sure as hell did give me more time. day i don't even know what of me um painting yay yeah so i'm still painting my graduation cap and today is the deadline pretty much that i put on myself so today i'm supposed to be taking some grad pictures and i also am going to be visiting family in san jose so that they can see that i graduated and i'm supposed to have this cap done by today so that way i can show it off but who knows if that's gonna happen so far, this is the progress that I've made on my cap. I still need to do the background. I still need to do the tattoo machine. I still need to do the eye. Still need to do the coffee and the donut and all the different textures and highlights. And I'm kind of just low key stressed. Okay, update. My mom says I have an hour to finish my graduation cap before I have to shower, get ready, make sure I take pictures, and then we go to San Jose. So that way we can go and see my grandparents. But I'm still not finished and I still have to detail my painting. Uh, I'm screwed. <laughs> Okay, so update. <laughs> the other day, I definitely had my whole graduation shindig, whatever, but I was not entirely happy with the fact that I did not feel accomplished or finished with my graduation cap. So I made sure that I just got back into it because I want to have all the final details and I want to make sure that it's perfect. Honestly, I'm such a perfectionist that I want to make sure that every single detail is there and then it pops out. I didn't even add the black lines. I miss out on so many details and I really just want this to be poppin. So I'm gonna be finishing that up right now and then I'll show you guys exactly what the completed graduation cap looks like. Ah! Okay, I didn't think that I was gonna actually show this, but okay, this is what it looks like before I add any of the, like the really, really tiny little details in the white. But I just popped out all this part right here with black Sharpie and honestly, I'm living for it, so I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's done. All right guys, so here's a montage of my graduation cap. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye.